And now, coming soon to video cassette. Interactive cinema. Police notes from Konami. And now, our feature presentation. Alrighty boysies, how you's doing? How you's doing this fine fine day? Welcome to your live from a dusty old man on home video store. And that's right boys, we're digging into Police Knots, a game I've wanted to dig into for years. Like since I first got into like, sort of hearing about emulation and you know, Kojima's old games. Oh god, that's so loud, fucking hell. But I, since I uh, first started looking up like Actually, I remember playing Metal Gear Acid 2 and seeing characters from Police Knots and going, what the fuck is this? And then learning about this game going, oh fuck, that sounds amazing. So fuck it, thought I might as well get around to it on stream. And it's kind of a kind of a sequel to a game I've played before in, uh, what you call it? In Snatcher, and I fucking loved Snatcher. Absolutely loved it. What a strange opening. This is a Hideo Kojima game, so get used to it. A lot of strangeness going on here. There we go, Police Knots, what a time, boys. Really excited to dig into this one. So from what I can gather, it's kind, it's kind of similar to... Oh! Oh! What have I done? There we go. Oh, what a fucking tune! You might recognise this tune from Man Home Video. I used to use this as an intro theme. Making sure everyone's one handed. Oh, actually, no, I'll just leave it in default now. Oh, right. I saw it's such, such a tune. Anyway, boys. So. Yeah, this came out in 1994, or I think around that time, actually let me just check. Because I usually have things written up about the game before I go, but I was at the gym earlier and completely forgot, I completely like crossed my mind that I hadn't like got set up at all. So yeah, Police Knots is a graphic adventure game with a point and click interface. It's been called a visual novel and an interactive movie. Oh great, that's going to be a lot of voice acting for me. Uh... Came out in 1994 on the PC 98, and we're playing the PS1 version, which came out in 96. So, I, I'm really excited to dig into this. Like, let's just skip all of this nonsense. Okay, oh, well, the Sega Saturn has a light gun segment. Oh, but the Sega Saturn's no real, of course. So we'll just carry on through that. So I'll try and give like a big heavy recap at the start of every stream, just to kind of get an idea where we are and what we're doing and shit like that, you know. Let me just get the audio right. Here we go, new game, dig right in. Let's dig right in. So I snatch it. Oh! Thank you for your patience. And now, our feature presentation. Just hope the audio sounds okay with me. Enjoy the show. There's going to be a lot of me talking over people, so I really hope the audio sounds okay. There was no option to like put voice down here and then uh which got like sound effects up here, you know. Oh, we're in space. The year was twenty ten. What a year. Mankind had completed its first space colony beyond coast. We finally outgrew our cradle. A group of police officers trained as astronauts were charged with providing security. Those expected to immigrate to the colony in 2013. From Scotland Yard, Gates Becker, from Tokyo Metropolitan Police, Joseph Sadoaki, oh, from NYPD, Salvatore Toscani, 
and from LAPD, Ed Brown and me, the lads, five of us, the world's elite, became astronauts with police authority. We're called the police knots. Do you think Donald Trump watched this when he made the Space Force? Because Polos does such a good job here. Eh, yeah, fuck Polos. Oh no, something's going wrong. Or is it? I don't know. Oh no, something's going wrong in the, no the nozzle. I think the plot of this is very similar to Snatcher in a way that it's like your character has amnesia and is in... Oh no, something's went very wrong and we're... Are we falling to Earth? Oh no, we're not, we're just falling off the space station. Oh fuck, where's George Clooney when you need him? And there we go, he's hurtling to space. What a fucking terrifying thing that must be. There's a movie called uh, Sunshine, which is half of a really good movie. The last half of it isn't as good, but most of it is just the horror space travel, and it's really fucking good. There's another one called, uh, oh, 25 years later, called High Life, which is Mia Goth, Robert Pattinson, which is really good, well, kind of similar. They send up a bunch of convicts to test what space travel's like on it, and yeah, it's horrifying. As I've seen where a character gets put through a black hole, it's one of the scariest things I've ever seen in a movie. Here we go, 25 years later. Very 90s anime, right up my alley with animation. Like, this is something I would have stared at in global video, being like, oh, what's that, you know? Like Ninja Scroll or some shit like that. Or Wicked City, you know? Oh, Chun, what a fucking Chun. Home. A Hideo Kojima game, there he is. There's your boy. Oh. Again, use this as the intro theme for a man home video for a wee while, and what a fucking banger. It's also used as Metal Gear Solid's intro, I think. Old Los Angeles 2020. Oh, mine 2020, that was a horrible year. Do, 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 do. Ah, oh, what a tune. Was that Mal Hero? Just legally distinct enough from the real cigarettes. You should get the one from Twin... I can't remember what it's called. The one in Twin Peaks that's like... It's in everything. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, you see. I'll look up who, what animation they because I really like the animation in this. I'll have a look see if I can do this while... Duh, 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 duh. Fucking tune. So I'm just looking at his games he's made, so he made, like, so he made Snatcher, I fucking love Snatcher, Snatcher is amazing, Snatcher was way ahead of its time, played that about maybe a year and a half ago I was say, I'm, I'm scrolling down seeing, his first game was something called Penguin Adventure, he made Metal Gear, Snatcher, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake, SD Snatcher which is like a, kind of a, another version of the game, they made police knots, and then Metal Gear Solid came out two years later. And of course, it, it was a producer on Beat Mania. Prologue, home. And then we got my boy Zone of the Enders. Fucking love Zone of the Enders. And they made things like Bok Tai, or his producer on Bok Tai, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, Metal Gear Acid. Walk tie again, Lunar Nights, whatever that is. Oh, here we go. The name's Jonathan Ingram. 30 years ago, I was one of Beyond's police knots. Of course, it feels like practically yesterday. Thanks to the EMPS accident, there are vivid memories. My wife, my friends, career, all gone. The accident ruined my life. I'm now a private ICOM negotiator. What? And it's one of the places called Old LA. I negotiate with child kidnappers and human traffickers, intermediate ransom exchanges, track down escaped cons, dangerous work. 
But for a guy at the end of his rope like me, scum like that are probably the only, good, the only thing putting food on my table. Guess it beats still being out there. So was he like, hurtling in space or something I've got some time till that client gets here. The place is full of all sorts of mementos. There's some newspaper clippings and photos on the walls. And a couple of other photos on my desk. They keep blanks in my memory filled. Right, so was he amnesiac or was he missing? I don't know. Anyway, look at that cursor go. Woo! Oh, it auto saves. That's just so right. Let's click on the cigarettes. Look. These are Muslims, the only cigarettes in the world that still give off secondary smoke. I don't like the pure bent cigarettes you get today. Oh. Whoops. Right, we'll, we'll redo that. Oh my god, there's so much. Right. You can still light a Muslim by breaking off the end, but using a lighter adds to the flavour. They give off a lot of smoke and ash, though not as much as real ones did. Everyone else is like smoking air as far as I'm concerned. Fucking hates vaping, so he does. Hates it. It's a beer can. It's empty. We just used aluminium ca uh, for cans before. These ones are made from biodegradable plastic. Fucking hates the environment, so he does. It's a replica of the, bad I the badge I had in the LAPD. Sure does take me back. There's a picture from those days on the wall. There's a photo of me and Lorraine at Lucas World. Lorraine. Lorraine. Oh, my wife. Fucking should. No, that was a long time ago. She moved beyond and remarried after my accident. She's someone else's wife now. She's a Nisei, half Japanese, half. I missed that last one. There was something kind of mysterious about her. I was a cop fresh out of the academy. Lauren was a student at UCLA. We met after our place got broken into. December 24th, 2008. It was our first Christmas together. Still got the watch she gave me. One of those radio control types. It was state of the art for the time. 2008, state of the art. He would have fucking loved Oblivion, so he would. Well, no, Oblivion was 2006. Anyways, the joke. The joke's fucked, anyway. This is me and Lorraine on our wedding day. I was still a cop here in LA. Lorraine dropped out of UCLA after we got engaged. Lorraine was like an angel in our wedding dress. I remember discovering my rental tux didn't fight, fit right before the ceremony. I originally had a black tuxedo. I still wear my wedding ring. Oh, that's so sad. Poor guy. I mean, when, when was this? August 24th, 2009. They got married after less than a year. Good for them. One day I'll never forget. And Jesus Christ, that's a lot of smokes. This an ashtray I stumbled across at an antique store. It wasn't easy to find one of these. You don't need an ashtray for bent cigarettes after all. The butts are starting to overflow. I guess I should empty it. Maybe you should. Oh, it's a fact. Everyone's going to have that smoke like thick smoke I, I hate that like you remember back when I, I used to have a friend when I was younger and all of his family smoked like his sister his older sister smoked his dad smoked and his mum smoked and walking into you'd walk open their front door and it was just like a wall of fucking smoke like my, my dad just smoked but my dad would smoke out the window or he'd, or he'd go downstairs to smoke you know just like but that's because dad asked me so he was like yeah can I be smoking around wee Mikey I was given this award by the mayor back when I was a cop me and Ed were a well-known team in the LAPD. You know, Hideo Kojima could just make a movie, right? He should just make a movie. He clearly wants to do one. He, like, well, he did make games that were extremely cinematic, especially for the time. But the country just leave and do a movie. It's the miniature of Beyond. Ed made it for me. Ed's in a couple of pictures on the wall. It's a newspaper article from when I was rescued from the EMPS survival ball three years ago. 
The headline reads, 25 year lost voyage, please not Ingram's miraculous return. I'll read some of the article. Police not Jonathan Ingram, presumed dead after an accident during a spacewalk in EMPS. Prototype 25 years ago has been rescued by the unmanned exploration vessel Propaganda. His miraculous survival has been attributed to the fact that he transferred himself to an equipped life pod at the time of the accident and remained in cold sleep the entire time. He's gathering attention as a living example for the effects of 25 year of cold sleep on the human body. It took over a year for my muscles to return to normal after I got back. Oh, it's the same bit. Cool. Oh, no, I skipped it. I pressed it again. There's a picture of me when I was a, taking my other police knot. A relatively small article in the corner of a newspaper. These cabinets are filled with information on past cases and clients. They're not exactly pleasant read, but papers inside are worth their weight in gold. There was a note saying, who left me a note? It's a piece of paper with information on a client. I've been asked to look for their four-year-old son. You don't see many ransom kidnapping nowadays. It's safer for the kidnappers to quickly sell off the victim's organs to organ buyers, and they're guaranteed to see a return that way too. I've got a bad feeling about this one. I love these hard-boiled detectives. It's just always a genre I've loved. Like I say hard-boiled, like, don't you? Just that sort of the private, private eye sort of thing, you know? There's a movie called Nice Guys that I absolutely fucking adore. It's directed by Shane Black, it's Russell Crowe and uh, Ryan Gosling. Ryan, and Ryan Gosling plays a pri uh, a lazy, this lazy shite private detective. And Russell Crowe is this uh, enforcer, I think. And they team up to find a missing porn star. It's so fucking good. It's one point. I think the movie, I think the year it came out is my favourite movie of the year. Yeah, I think it was 2017. I think it was, my it was definitely my favourite movie of that year. Anyways. It's a video phone with a built-in printer. Though, I've disabled the video on my end. Most of the cases come in over the phone. Clients don't particularly like meeting up for some reason. There are some Venetian blinds I found at an antique store. I don't like the adjustable glass you get today. I put them up so you can't see the inside of the office from outside. Right, uh, What else can we look at? I got this pen when I was in the LAPD. The mayor gave it to me along with that award. Knowing Ed probably still has his too. He's pr it was a pretty nice pen uh, for the time. This is my baby, a Beretta 92F. I've used one since I was a cop. She's a bona fide recoil gun, equipped with a re uh, laser sight. I use special 10 round magazines with armor piercing bullets. I don't carry her so I can go around shooting everything in sight. She's strictly for protection. Right, cool. What else am I looking at? So, what's here? This leads out to the building's fire escape. You always got to make sure your ass is covered with a good old plan B in this line of work. Go outside. Don't have anything to do outside. It's still early anyway. I'll wait here for the client to show. I mean, I've looked at everything, haven't I? What about the papers? So I'm just going to have another wee look, see what uh, Hideo Kojima's actually worked on. Lords of Shadow, of course. A ton, bunch of Metal, uh, Metal Gear Solid games like Metal Gear Peace Walker, uh, Metal Gear Sons, Guns of the Patriots, he was a supervisor in Smash Bros. Bro, no, he wasn't. He was a. He designed the Shadow Moses Island. Um, I guess all portable ops, which I fucking love. And then PT, which oh boys, I'll get on to PT eventually. I'll maybe save my PT discussion for my place on hell eventually. But I'll just say that was a fucking dream team that was getting ready there for it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid, the Phantom Pain, a lot of mixed feelings about that. Death Stranding is a bit too Kojima. OD, oh, what? Right, boys, right. Actually, it's an investigation report to a client, though I haven't gotten very far with it. It was not a child kidnapping, but my negotiations with the kidnapper failed. I couldn't save a child. Probably already been cut apart in his organs trafficked to buyers. Oh, God. Sorry, kid. Wait, yeah, see what OD, so... It, all we know about it is it had a shite trailer at the Game Awards. The only things we know is that it's a horror game. The idea of Kojima working on a horror game, pretty cool. The fact that it's got Sophia Ellis, who I, I like. It's got, I forget her name, Hunter. I think she's in, Kieran said she was in Euphoria. And it's got Udo Kier, my boy Udo Kier. I'm always happy to see work get work. I fucking love Udo Kier. 
But yeah, I'm not like I don't want fucking fifteen minutes of the game worth taken up for that when you're playing off a starion or playing off, you know, the director of fucking Legend of Zelda. Anyways. It's a Brady oil lighter. They're a manufacturer of the only light the manufacturer of the only lighter still in production. Don't need lighters for matches or matches for today's bent cigarettes. People would just probably laugh at me and tell me I'm wasting my time living in the past. Right, I think I've looked at everything. The filing cabinet, we need to get these organised. It'd be nice if we could hire an assistant or something, but it doesn't look like anyone's up for working at a place like this. I've had a help wanted sign posted at the entrance to the building for some quite some time, but no takers. I'm sick of looking at papers. Fine then. Right, uh... Let's have a look. What else can I do? So I checked the video phone, but that's clearly flashing. Play messages. I was checking the machine. Maybe there's a call from someone with a case. Oh god. Sorry. Wrong number. That was so loud, holy shit. Thank you for wasting my time. Still no offers. Let's see what the next one says. Hello Mr Ingram, it's the Department of Water and Power. It's your final notice regarding your bill. Maybe you give me something I could actually drink. Who's got a call with an actual case? Oh, when someone got a call with an actual case. Can I fucking read? Let's see what the next one says. John, where you been? I feel like crap too, you know. That's why I'm in a bar, call me. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next time. Right, so. Are more messages? Let's see what the next one says. You're a piece of shit detective. Remember me, you little punk? I got news for you. This ain't over. Watch your back. That wasn't very nice. Still no offers. Let's see what the next one says. Hi, Tom Olsen, we talked before. Listen, I'm not going to be needing your services after all. Thanks anyway. There goes another. Well, we've lost another client. Let's see what the next one says. The signboard, the signboard. It's got an extra pair of legs, damn it. That's why some people shouldn't have kids. Still no offers. Well, seems like there's not much else to do here. Let me have a wee look. Uh... What else can I investigate? What about these photos? Oh, picture of me when I was in the LAPD. Me and my partner Ed were always together. Ed Brown. Ed Brown. The one guy I trust in my life. My best friend. And a good partner. The badge on my desk is a replica of the one I had then. I wonder if it's meant to be Murtaugh and Riggs. I wonder. I was in narcotics at the time. I was reckless. My pretty short fuse. I would have had a Breta with me here too. Me and Ed have been good friends since the academy. We're a well known team in narcotics. That award was a product of all our work together. Ed was in the bomb squad before he joined narcotics. There was a lot of terrorist activity back then. My life felt so complete. Look at me, full of confidence. Like a totally different person. Like. I don't know, the thing is, like, his worlds here are so, are so simple and so, like, I don't want to say simple, but it's, like, well written, but simple, if that makes sense. The photo was taken to commemorate the selection of the police knots. Five officers out of all the world's police organisations were chosen and trained. We're called the original cops after the Mercury program's original seven. We're wearing ejection escape suits here. They are obsolete now. Back then, everyone thought the orange coloured suits were so cool. 
There's Salvatore Toscan Cos Tosca Toscanini. He came from the NYPD. Apparently he resigned from uh Beyond Coast Police over ten years ago. That's Ed. He was chosen out of the LAPD along with me. He looks thinner here compared to the LAPD picture. I was absolutely ecstatic, but Lorraine, she was against me going to space. That's when I went to Mars. Oh, then I went to Mars. That's when we started to drift apart. That's Joseph Sadoki Sada Sadaoki Tokugawa. He came from the Tokyo Metropolitan Police Department in Japan. He's now head of the Tokugawa Group. The thing we have attached to our chest is our police knots badge. I still wear mine around my neck. That's Gates Becker. He came from Scotland Yard in the UK. Pretty risen pretty high up to the ranks of uh, Beyond Police Coast. No, Beyond Coast Police. There we go. Go outside. I haven't got anywhere to go. That's where I spend most of my time. It's the only award I've ever received for anything. We've got a chief to nominate the two of us for the police knots. Thanks to this. Right, so I'm just looking, I've just checked the guide, just a wee sort of gander, and it says I have to just investigate everything. It's a newspaper article written at a time of Beyond Coast completion. It was written 20 years before the article about my rescue. This newspaper, uh, this newspaper article about my accident occur occurred during the MPS space walk outside Beyond. It was written three years after the one about Beyond's completion. The headline reads, EMPS prototype malfunctions. Please not Ingram missing. Picture me when it taken from the time of the accident. I'll read some of the article. A malfunction occurred in the veneer thrusters of the Uri M EMPS prototype during a test spacewalk of a device yesterday. The Uri had been scheduled to be used by the police knots outside of the colony. The EMPS had vanished without a trace. Yuri is equipped with a survival ball, but because an SOS signal can't be isolated, the chances of a test pilot Jonathan Ingram being found alive are thought to be slim. Official tests have been scheduled for tomorrow. I remember what Salvador said. Whatever you do, don't screw us up, Johnny boy. Everyone back home's gonna be watching. There were still a lot of people opposed to the space development back then. All happened so fast, before we knew it, the four of them were gone. Everything after that's a blur. Next time I opened my eyes, I was lying on a hospital bed. This newspaper, this newspaper article reporting the success of the first manned mission to Mars. I took part in it while undergoing my police knot training. It was the, written in the year before the article about the EMPS accident. It's a picture of me encountering a Mars rover on the surface. It was sent to Mars on the Mars 96 mission. I read some article. Four astronauts among them, police knot Jonathan Ingram, of the collaborative Mars project between Russia, America and Japan, touched down on the red planet yesterday. New chapter in space history comes 40 years after man first set foot in the moon. Oh! Knock, knock, knock. Who could that be? Well, well, who's this? A client actually showing up on time? It's open. Who's the client? Who we got? Oh, hello. Jonathan. Hello, Jonathan. Lorraine? Oh, that's my ex-wife. Lorraine Hojo. Surprised? It's been, what, 28 years? What are you doing here? Look at you, you haven't changed a bit. You can probably pass for your mother now. But why? Why now? I don't expect you to forgive me. I know I've got a lot of nerve coming here. But you're the only one that can help me. What's wrong? Something's, something's happened to my husband. I'll see, I see. Alright, well, come on in. I like your setup, it's cool. 
To be honest, I'd rather not. You wouldn't recognise me. I just wouldn't feel comfortable. Fair enough, Lorraine. Or should it be ma'am? At any rate, you'll need to fill me in. Like I said, Kojima should just make a movie because it's a really cool setup. I really like this. Uh, I guess talk. Hey, Lorraine. Ask about our family. Why don't we get into it then? Do you have any kids, Lorraine? I have a daughter. Her name's Karen. Ask about a request. So, something happened to your husband? Exactly three weeks ago, my husband, Kenzo Hojo, left for work and simply never came home. I've been to his company and the police, but no one will help me. And now you're trying home? I have a real bad feeling about the whole thing. Maybe he went into hiding? Oh, come on. Pills don't disappear in a space colony. It's impossible to stay hidden there. Had he received any threats? Not that I know of. As if he just vanished into thin air. It doesn't fit the profile of a random kidnapping. A ransom kidnapping, excuse me. Gotta take a wee drink. I'm just gonna move the mic as well, just give me two seconds. There we go. That's a bit comfier for me. It sort of. The arm sort of slowly worked its way down there, so I was a, a bit hunched over. So it wasn't the most comfy one. Oh, yeah, uh, so kind of relating back to uh, OD, what I was mentioning earlier. So Udo Kier, generally one of my favourite actors, one of my guys, whenever I see him in a movie, I'm like, yes! Or whatever, you know, he always shows up and I was like, my boy! I first remember seeing him in. I remember I was. Oh, when was this? When was this? Somehow I got a hold of a. Was it a VHS copy of Blood for Dracula? Which, for those don't know, is Andy Warhol's Dracula movie starring Udo Kier. I really like that movie. It's not great. But I really like it. And Udo Kier is fucking amazing. Udo Kier is a great choice to play a vampire in anything. He's also a vampire in Blade, funnily enough. Uh. And also, and also he's in Scooby-Doo, fucking Mystery Inc the best Scooby-Doo show, Mystery Incorporated, which takes a lot from Twin Peaks and shit like that. Uh, he plays the, one of the main bad guys, Professor Pericles. So anytime Udo Kier shows up in anything, he's got a very distinct voice. He's he's kind of like Willem Dafoe in that way, like, like, his acting is always at a 10, and that works really well for some things, you know? Oh, now what a time, I want Udo Kier and uh, Willem Dafoe playing off each other, I'd be like, oh, oh, he's... I've got myself excited for something that doesn't exist. Anyways, ask about our daughter. Where's your daughter live? Karen's a news anchor on Beyond. A news anchor, huh? She's pretty famous there. Ask about Beyond. What's Beyond like these days? Beyond's different. A lot different. You wouldn't recognise it either. Everyone's settled down there. It's pretty much like any ordinary city now. Ask about Big Kenzo. So this Hojo guy, what's he like? Well, Kenzo's also a Nisei. He works at a pharmaceutical engineer for Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. He's honest, hardworking, and never hurt anyone. I brought a picture of him. That's him there. Oh, there he is, an older guy. Looks like a nice enough guy. And you look happy. Yeah, I am. Well, was anyway. I'll let you hang on to that, yeah? A little early for that, isn't it? God, I, I love this setup. This is just so cool. It's very noir, very sort of, like, sort of sci-fi noir. I think this would really work as, like, a movie or a just make it a 90s anime. Just make it one of them. That'd be class. Same with Snatcher. Snatcher was so good. So ahead of its time. I loved Snatcher. Might we play Snatcher. Not on stream. Just in general, you know. Anyways, talk about yourself. Alright, well, why don't I tell you what's been going on with me? 
I've worked as a private investigator for the past few years, and you've probably guessed finding work can be a bit of a struggle, but I'm managing. I see, that's good to hear. Uh, old LA. Not a lot has changed. Me and you lived here. New LA is a separate place just up north. We get the odd bit of snow today, like today as well. Some real crazy weather. Snow in LA? The metro sat down once the ghetto's completely took over too. Hey Pro, how you doing? Snatcher, I hardly know her. Big difference from Beyond's growth. Times have changed and this place got left behind. Hey Pro, how you doing? Cheers for the subscription. How's your day going? How was Alan Wake last night? I was almost asleep at that point. <laughs> How far did you- how, oh sorry, my voice just broke there, holy shit. Oh, two seconds, they take a drink. Way too much talking for for me. Anyways, talk about- so we talked about old LA, so we'll talk about work. On home, kidnappings are coming as frequent as rapes and robberies. Jesus Christ. It was fun, but I'm still loaded with the cold, so I cut it short because it kept- I kept coughing. That's actually- I've actually got a mute button, like, right next to me. For all my streams. And it's because when I had COVID, I could just go... Literally, as I said that, a cough nearly hit me there. But I would just go talk for like a couple of seconds, press the button, cough my lungs out. Then I'm... Yeah. Never had that before that, and now it's like... During winter, I've always got the mute button sitting right beside me because colds are fucking everywhere, you know? Trafficking people is more profitable than drugs or prostitution now. That's terrible. Surprising to hear about a case like yours these days. So you'll help me. I need to hear more about the situation first. Show. Oh. Oh, sorry, I press. Right, I talk about. Oh, I talked about work. How far did you get? Wait, Alan Wake too, because Megan right now is just in. Oh, I should play. She was playing up a bit where. It's not really helping because I, I've not. I wasn't around for it. I was. Sit, I was sitting in here doing stuff, and then I came in, and it's. Playing as Alan Wake and she's able to like write bits and go in between worlds and shit like that. Just read the first chapter. Ah, I see. So this is Hojo. I actually don't have that many pictures of him. I'm sure it'll come in useful. Ask about Hojo's behaviour. So basically, right, so for we recap, we were we we're a police officer that was sent up to space and on a spacewalk we got drifted into space. We survived somehow. And they've came back to a cyberpunk sort of world. We're working as a private detective. Our wife, uh, it was 25 years later, our wife's now walked in and asked us to find our new our husband who's went missing. What's his behaviour? You know what's anything unusual about your husband before he disappeared? All the years I knew him, he'd be your typical he'd been your typical company employee. He'd get up, leave for work, then come walking through the door at the end of the day. Same schedule, day in, day out. Quite a change from my hours. But the past few months he'd be a bit more unpredictable, you might say. Can't really draw anything concrete from that. You think he'd be become involved in something though? That's my gut feeling, yeah. There, if there were indications of some sort of trouble beforehand, chances of it being a ransom and kidnapping are pl uh, pretty slim. Nope, ask about her marriage to Hojo. How'd you guys meet? I moved to Beyond right after you went missing. After how much you hated it, I just want to be closer to you any way I could. I met Kenzo at the... Oh, I, po I apologise for my pronunciation, boys. He's... Nihonjin Matsuri, run by Tokugawa. Nihonjin Matsuri? It's a festival for Japanese people and beyond. So why were you there? I have Japanese blood too, remember? Ask about Tokugawa. The conglomerate's reach doesn't stop it beyond. They essentially run space, and Joseph Sadoke Tokugawa runs a group. He's just as well known as home as he is out there. If Tokugawa's, uh, if he's a, if Hojo's a Tokugawa employee, I suppose we can't totally rule it that he was kidnapped. You could get mo good money out of that, I imagine. Now, I'm beyond, no one on Beyond would uh, even think about messing with Tokugawa. They're too afraid of retaliation. Wouldn't be worth it. Clues. 
Lorraine, I'm gonna need more than just your instincts for this. Is there anything you'd consider clues? I have a few things Kenzo gave me. Some drug capsules and a piece of a leaf. I don't know what they mean, but they must be important. Capsules and a leaf? He said to me, if anything happens to me, give these to the police or someone that you trust. That's quite a statement. See? And then he just disappears. Oh right, a leaf and a capsule. Hmm, let's have a look. Capsules. Guess we'll start with the capsules. That them. Here they are. What are they for? I have no idea. I wonder if they're made by Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Will you hang on to them for me? Right, and then the leaf. What's the leaf all about? And the leaf? That there? Here it is. I've never seen a leaf like it. Why is it cut in half like that? It was like that when I got it. Can you hold it? Can you hold on to it for me? Show capsules. Any idea what these could be for? All the ordinary medical capsules that you'd find at any pharmacy. You'd be able to get an analysis done right. A bit of leaf. To be honest with you, I don't see how something like this could be that important. But if I went out of his way to give it to you, I suppose there must be something to it. I wonder what kind of plant it's from. Can you get analysis performed? Capsules and leaf. I'll have to get an expert for these. You know someone? You need to be uh, make sure they're not connected to Tokugawa. I've got a leaf guy, boys. It's alright. This is home. That won't be a problem. Is that an LS to cost a fortune here? Yeah, but this one's a little old. We're all the rage on home too. Ellis changes the design its bag every year. While producing them in limited numbers, then destroys all the originals. That's why it's so expensive, isn't it? So I'm taking a drink. What about our necklace? Can we look at that? Jotham, don't look at me like that. I'm 55 now. You cut your hair? Yeah, several years back. I remember you liked my hair long, didn't you? Seems like a lifetime ago. That's a nice coat you've got. Yeah, I guess. Can you, If you can afford it. Why not, right? You're, you're best not wandering around the area dressed like that. Right. Is this kind of game I need to fucking look at everything? Jotham, I think I'm being followed. Hold on, I'll take a look. It's alright, I don't see anyone. If there is someone following me, they must be connected to Ko Tokugawa. They'd follow you all the way home like this? There's nothing they wouldn't do. Right. Hmm. Well, right, uh... Let me have a look. Are you sure? Yeah, it's all in your head. Let's talk to her. Lorraine, why don't we continue? Ask about... Horses' behaviour. He'd become angry and frightened. That wasn't like him. I've never seen him like that before. You're saying someone might have been targeting him for some reason? Ask about... Her marriage. To Forgive me, Jonathan. I, I couldn't have survived on my own. I was lonely. I wanted someone to be there and that's when Kenzo came along. I'm going to ask her about everything just to... Redo it, you know. Is there anything else? There was one thing he kept mentioning. The word Plato. 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 Oh, what's that? You got me. Ask about Plato. Plato, could he have said Pluto? I'll be honest. No, to be honest. I'm not sure anymore. We still haven't been to Pluto though. Thanks for bringing me up to speed. There's certainly more to us than meets the eye. So you'll help me, right, Jonathan? I'll pay whatever you want. Dollars or yen, just let me know. Hold on, Lorraine. Oh, boys, what do we do? 
I mean, does the game just end if we decline the case? Anyway, except case. I can't give you an answer today, Lorraine, but I will consider it. Jonathan, don't tell me you're not going to help me. I didn't say that. I just need some time to think. I'm still in shock. Sure. Thanks. I'll hang on to these in the meantime. Well, I'll be in touch. I'm staying at a hotel, New Rose, in Beverly Hills until the weekend. Call me anytime. Jonathan? Again, I don't expect you to forgive me. I didn't wait for you. I'm sorry. I was so happy when I heard you'd been rescued. If only I'd found you a little sooner, things would have been different. I just wanted you to know that. How'd you get here, by the way? I rented a car at the hotel. This old classic. I see. Poor Jonathan. Well, it's nice seeing you again. Bye. And there we go, lighting up an our cigarette. Because he wouldn't be a noir detective if he didn't. Lorraine, Lorraine I miss you too. Like you wouldn't believe. But now Lorraine's went MILF mode. And he's, feel he's feeling a bit funny again. Oh wait, what's that? Oh, whoa, his footsteps at our car. Oh, fuck, there's a guy in a... I don't know. Lorraine, get away from the car. And she's noticed the masked guy. Well, rest in peace, Lorraine. Right. Oh god, where is he? Where'd he go? I'm excited for speed up King. Oh, there he is. I see him. He's got a gun. Oh, right. Light gun segment. Oh god, I need to take a shot at him, don't I? Got him. Oh no, I need to... How do I reload? Right, cool. Oh god. wonder if it's a set pattern to it or if it is just guessing. Oh, I got him. Right, he ran behind here. Oh god, right, right, right. I remember the shooting sequ sequences in... Uh, Snatcher being kind of hard sometimes. Got him. I'm at half health as well, so... I know I'm hitting you. Oh! Move, damn it! I like the idea that we're in the middle of a gunfight and... There's someone standing there not caring. Great. Now where, you dis where did you disappear? Right, where is he? It could be anywhere, oh god. Oh! Shipman is me toes. Shipman the kneecap. Got him there. Go for the buzz. 
Oh god! I thought he, I thought if I shot him once, he would just sort of, he would come out of the mode. Right, there we go. We got him. Damn, she dead. Oh, and he's down the back alley. He ran down the alley. I've got you now. Can he escape? Lads, I fucking love light gun segments. Like, one of my favourite moments in any games is when there's a light gun segment. But you know what I miss in gaming is missing nowadays? Because like, everyone's VR controllers or whatever. The Wii Zapper was the last good one, I think. I miss a big stupid plastic gun that you have to pay for. Like the Gun Con too. I loved the Gun Con. Absolutely adored that. Let me tell you about a game called Disaster Day of Crisis. Pro, you don't have to tell me about it. It is sitting right behind me. I've been thinking about playing that for years. It's an alleyway. Goes back quite a bit. Enter alley. Okay, here we go. That's been on my to-do list. Not just... Not just like to stream it, just to play it in general. Oh no! He came everywhere. Where's he gone? He's faster. Right? He's ran down here a second ago. So much for falling his footprints. That's not obvious. Didn't stick around here. Jokes on you getting shot as my kink. But I remember I had a great Christmas one year. I think my mum got me, my mum and dad got me the Gun Con 2 for the PS2 and Time Crisis 3. What a good fucking year that was. What a good uh, present that was. I fucking loved that. Like, fair enough, it wasn't the same without the big pedal, because I, I love me Time Crisis. <laughs> Excuse me. I love me Time Crisis, specifically Time Crisis 3. What a time. I've still never finished it. I might do that in stream one time, because you need to grind out the fucking. What's it called? Need to grind out the I forgot what they're called, the fucking uh continues. Anyways, let's investigate the fucking come trail. There's some kind of liquid on the ground. It looks like milk? No. Come. White blood. He's running artificial blood? Is this blood? It leads further back. Looks like it continues further back. Can I go down that way? It's a concrete wall. If the blood on the ground is his, it's not very likely he's hidden in that hollow right, right on the right, right there. It's a dumpster. Just enough room for someone to hide behind it or maybe even in it. Someone placed garbage bags next to it. Maybe it's full. That's what they want you to think. I can't see very well from here. Advance, here we go. Where is he? More blood? Must be around here somewhere. Damn it, I've wasted a lot of time back there. Just sitting talking about time crisis and disaster day of uh, crisis. What a time. Today is word of the day is crisis. What, what other games have a word crisis in it? Incredible Crisis game, it scared me as a kid. Uh, crisis, 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 I can't... Oh, the game Crisis, of course. Fucking trilogy. There we go. The only thing I know about Crisis, I've never played any of them. All I know about them is that they were like a measuring stick for PCs back in the day. Like, they were going, oh, you can, this game can run Crisis. But I remember there used to be a, a place called Esk Games in Glasgow that I used to go to all the time. And they had like, it was like you could pay, I think it was a, p a pound an hour, and you could play games on them, on their PCs and stuff. I used to go there and play World of Warcraft and shit like that. But remember, they could play, they ran Crisis, I used to sit and play, I think it was Modern Warfare 1 and shit like that, mo online as well. What a time that was, boys. I look back, that's a really, I don't look back in my teenage years very fondly, apart from the games, but I look really fondly back in that time, you know. It's a dumpster I saw before. Jesus, I can smell it from here. It says fuck on it. I have to get closer to check it out. Doesn't seem to have bloodstains on it. He's losing a hell of a lot. Trail stops here. I mean, they can't be far away. Ali goes back some more. He has to be around here. Let me check some more. That's where the blood stops too. A wooden box is filled with empty bottles. It'd be a perfect size for someone to hide behind. 
that's definitely one place it could be. It's also right around where the blood stops. Have a perfect view of the alley from behind there. Can we not look behind it? Also at a dead end just up ahead. Is he behind the bags? These guard bags have been placed next to a dumpster. They're made out of biodegradable plastic. Plastic is starting to decompose. They must have been here a while. Most of the bags are full of old food. Oh. This wall's got pipes going up and down it. Oh, would you look at that? A wee raid from Jonathan. These pipes, they've got barbed wire on them. You couldn't claim these. How was the rest of uh, the rhythm? What tunes did you blast out? Anyways, we are playing Police Knots. Right, time for a little recap. So our boy, funny enough called Jonathan, uh, was trapped, was lost in space for 25 years. He's came back and his wife is remarried. We're now in sort of cyberpunk LA. His wife has then appeared and says, my husband's missing. Can you take his case? So we've taken the case. As she left, this masked man blew her car up. We're now chasing the masked man. How's the naughty police? It's good. Well, we're technically a, a private detective right now, right? So there's a guy around here somewhere. Where would he be? Where would he be? More like police, not Jesus. He certainly could be in there. There's something, there's something about it, actually. Better be careful around there. Hey, Monica, how you doing, pal? It matches up exactly with where the blood stops. That other doorway is a possibility too. Too dark to make anything from here. Son of a bitch can't see anything. Has to be around here. Let me check him, check some more. Oh for fuck, right. Right, full of garbage. What what about this wall? What's this? I think I've checked everything. A building ventilation shaft. The grate doesn't look like it's been moved. Chris could never fit through there. Right, uh what else do I need to Hmm? I've checked some more. I'm just checking everything. Patron over the building. Cool. What about the barrel here? There's a drum up ahead. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's just a wee rat. Never mind. Ah, you prick. Fucking, fucking jump scared there. Oh wait, oh, so I turned into Scooby-Doo. What door is he behind? Right, wait, just get him shot when he pops out. Ah, damn it, I'm out. I had my, I had my thing rested right on him. There we go. Just sit and wait for him to... Ah, your bastard looked at chat for a second and... I'm here looking for a meeting, but hope you're good, pal. Oh, cheers, Mick. Hope you're good as well, pal. Hope meeting's not too bad. Ah, you bastard, you. My cursor's too big, I can't see if he pops out. Oh, no. Right. Right, I need to th I I'm failing here, so I need to think less like Mikey, more like Jeff Keighley. This is, a, this is a Hideo Kojima game, after all. There, we shot him in the dick. Yes, man. And he shot himself and ran away. Just to catch up with my lane manager. Should be pretty painless, I hope. Oh fuck, I've missed dialogue. Anyway, I think he's just chasing, just going down there. I am not gonna let you get away. Get him, Jonathan. Come on, nobody's as fast. So, whatever, it's a dead end anyway. There's something else on the ground. Oh, he's left a wee message. Right, what's the wee message he's left for us? It's writing. I'll kill you. Bastard. That's some kind of game to you. It's a concrete wall. I don't see anywhere he could hide. I don't think he'd hide the same place twice. If there are more wooden boxes around here. They're empty though. Doesn't look like he's here. More boxes here too. There's not enough room to hide behind these. Don't think you could claim this. Even if you used the boxes as a foothold, you still wouldn't get anywhere. 
I thought you could claim this. Cool. Uh, hmm. Don't think you could claim this. Can't see very well, but I'm pretty sure it's a dead end up ahead. This one goes all the way back. There's nowhere I could hide. Right, I'm going to pop a lurk and try and get some rest. On you go, Jordan. Have a wee sleep. Have a wee nap uh, for me. Right, there's nowhere else to hide. Right. Now, if I was hiding... Where would I hide? Left a mess for me. He could should he should be he should still be around here though. I can't fucking get that word out. Rose in his own blood. Guy's a psycho. Advance. If he comes running down here, I'll have a perfect shot at him. I don't get. It. I just don't know where he could have gone. There's no way he could have gone. Right, uh Don't know where I have to look. Don't think you could claim this. Oh no, I just had to look at the wall more. Oh no. What's that what's this? Hey, Kieran. Hey, come on, Jonathan, dodge it. That's so loud, Jesus Christ. Did we get him? Nah, he's away. He got away. We'll never find out who tried to murder our wife. Fuck. Anyway, here, this is Police Knots. They want to save. Oh, what a tune. This is Police Knots. Uh, Hideo Kojima's. One of his big, big games. It was the first game that he released on PlayStation. It came out just before Metal Gear Solid, and it's fucking class. Basically, our character was a member of the this police sp space force, and something went wrong. We ended up in space for 25 years, we ended up like frozen. So, we've came back to the cyberpunk Earth, and we've started working as a private detective. Our ex-wife then came in, who she started a new family, she's moved on, and she said, she's asked, like, my husband's went missing, he works for a pharmaceutical company, could you help? And as soon as, like, we taken the case, after all the time, she left, and as she got into her car, a car, a bomb went off, and we chased that guy in the motorcycle helmet down. So, yeah, that's as much as we know so far. God, do I be safe here? File saved. I'm really enjoying it so far, but again, Kojima is very, very good when he's... It stops knowing. One last chance to look at the stars together. I missed you so much. Lorraine, that watch, you still wear it? Of course, you know how I am with time. You kept it all the time, all this time. Jonathan, please. Karen's sick. You have to help her. She she needs Lorraine. Lorraine, Lorraine's dead. I think you knew her. She was an old friend. Poor thing. She came from beyond, huh? No, she came back. She came back to me. That big thing in the background just says Solid Snake, does it? Well again, Kojima fucking loves- right, right. ASL, American Space Line. Kojima loves putting things from other things in his other games. So, yeah, you'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for choosing American Sp uh, Space Line's Flight 97, no, 796. To be on coast. We have completed our gravity turn. And are proceeding as scheduled to the colony. We're now entering zero gravity. You should begin to feel sick. Uh, press the call button located by your window. And one of our flight attendants will assist you. Who is this lad? You okay? You don't look too good. I'm not a big fan of space. You have SAS? Interesting. This your first time? 
Yeah. No, I had an accident out here a long time ago. I've been, I've had cosmophobia ever since. Sorry to hear that. You should ask one of the stewardess for some medicine. The call button's a red switch on the wall. I'm good for now, thanks. Conversation is the best way to take your mind off something. You should take advantage of this opportunity. No, nope. last thing I want to talk to Big Tony Redwood. Nice to meet you. Jonathan Ingram, same here. Lurking and watching you while I lie in bed because I am fucked, son. Oh, you got me cold, or are you... Is the spiffy still on tonight, or is that... Or is that off? The big sign that's in the background says, Solid Snake Eye. Uh, Kojima puts a lot of stuff in, in his R games, like... There's a lot of stuff you'll see, like, for example, in Metal Gear Solid, I think it's 4. The prototype Metal Gear that Autocon uses is just from Snatcher. And there's actually a character in this who is just transplanted. Transplanted? Yeah. To, they're off tonight. My tummy's having a badging. Ah oh, well. What's the plan? Are you gonna just put up on Discord about the winners and losers, or are you gonna hold it off and then do a do another one? Um, also, wait, I need to ask: What did you eat? What has put you in this situation? Because it's something you, it's something you've done to yourself. Nah, I still want to stream it. Cool. But he has a character that's taken from this game and is a Metal Gear Solid, and you'll know who it is when you see. Anyway, look at Tony. He's got a, he's got really pale complexion. Why is your skin that color? Don't think it's something of eight. Something uh, Haley's no well either. Oh, oh, it might be there's a bug going about because my home, the home that I work in, is pretty bad for it now. Spent my whole stream promoting the spiffies, and now they're binned. Why is your skin that color? Because of my artificial blood. My red blood cells are actually white. White blood. I use first generation artificial blood, which is less complex than third generation kind you see on home. It looks awkward to, uh, to talk to. He's like a zombie or something. Mikey Lennon uh, is friend of sick. What did you do to go? No, right. It's because with Kieran, I don't. No offense. 90% of the time when he's sick, it's a, a. So I've seen him do this. He will walk into a restaurant or a place to eat and go. And go Oh, I'm going to pay for that later and then get this big fucking cheeseburger, you know? So, I just assume if his tummy's fucked, it's, he's just went, fuck it, I'm having pizza. Or fuck it, I'm having, you know, whatever. He's like a zombie or something. You mind if we talk? What is it? Ask about... um His background. About your skin cut off. Do we have to talk about... Can we not just ask him, here, what games do you like? What do you work as? I bet your skin colour. Is she like that because of artificial blood all the time? It's always like this, yes. Are you from beyond? Yes, I was born and raised there. I had a family uh, matter to attend to on home. And yourself? Are you a terrestrial? Not exactly. I used to be an amphibian. You know, going back and forth between home and beyond. An amphibian? You were one of the amphibians? It was a long time ago. Back when we were called astronauts. Ask about his job. First generation artificial blood. Are you military? Something like that, yeah. I'm a frozener after all. A frozener? Uh, frozener. What do you mean by frozener? A frozener is someone created from an artificially fertilised egg held in cryogenic storage by the government. Or the breeders, as some people call them. The egg is later transferred into a surrogate mother for gestation, gestation and delivery. A frozener? I hardly know her. Yes, man. Oh yeah, I heard a little bit about them. There's still a severe shortage of manpower and space development. You you sound like I'm boring you. Beyond. Beyond's a very nice place. It has 1G artificial gravity and its own plant life. Terrestrials enjoy it a lot there too. If you want detailed information, you should talk to the stewardess. Artificial blood. What does having artificial blood do for somebody? Artificial blood has a higher oxygen transportation efficiency than normal blood, so it makes blood heavy blood loss uh, less of a life threatening condition. Body's functions aren't negatively affected in areas of low oxygen uh, density either. Yeah, it's the perfect it's perfect for people working in space. 
Uh, ask about arrival time. When are we going to arrive? We're about one third of the way there. This thing boys right, so I don't know about you, I love long long journeys. See if I've got like a journey, like coming up, and I look at the time and go, like, say I've, I'm on a train, I'm, say if I'm actually on the train, I hate going on train, if, I hate getting ready for transport, see when I'm like seated in the thing, and I'm never happier than looking going, oh I've still got three hours left of this train journey, oh let's get in, you know. I remember I used to wrestle up in Caithness, like pre-Covid, and basically it was like a six hour drive, and it'd be like five wrestles in one car. And we'd be like, right boys, here we go. And I just loved it. It was easy for me to say that because I wasn't driving. But I used to love the drive up there. It was fucking beautiful, you know. I, I, it was motorways till we hit Inverness. And then after that, it was just like country roads and shit. It was amazing. Anyways. Uh, show. Uh, just straight away going, do you know about this guy? I'm sorry, but who are they? I don't know them. Yeah, I wouldn't expect you to. Lorraine photo. It's a photo of me and Lorraine when we went to Lucas World. The one I had sitting at my desk back in my office. Never hurts to think ahead. Is that your wife? Uh, no. So is she your girlfriend? Something about her reminds me of the woman in that other photo. I guess the ages are too far apart though. Capsules. Those are for SAS. I don't need any. Is that from a terrestrial plant? You don't see that photo much anymore. The police knots are from before I was born. Right, what else can I do? I can talk to a steward. Let's talk to a stewardess. What's the red button? There's a button to call the stewardess and a button for the TV there. Actually, what's on the telly? Let's see if it's on the tube. What's on the telly? What are we watching? Oh, it's BBC News! Yes, man. Good evening, pedophiles. Karen Hojo. No, sorry, that was STV that did that, wasn't it? Konnichiwa. Welcome to News Order. Number of Narcos from Beyond has reached an all time high. In response, Beyond, Police Co Beyond Coast Police has formed a special task force to investigate possible tracking routes from Earth. Narc is a semi-synthetic narcotic made from black po uh, po poppy opium, combining the addictiveness of morphine with the with uh, hallucinogenic properties of LSD. Space's most common legal drug. International Space Promotion Agency estimates that Narc is uh, used by nearly a third of all individuals involved with space development, and it expects that number continues to rise. This is Karen Hojo, reporting for BBC News. BBC? BBC? The Brits? Wait, it is the BBC! No, that program's from Beyond. BBC stands from Beyond Coast Broadcasting, and our BBC. Wait, wouldn't it be CB? Anyways, press call button. I'll call the stewardess over. Oh Jesus. This looks like it's from a very different game. How can I help you? Oh, not feeling too well. Are we? Maybe it may be SAS? I'm sure it is. Best thing you can do is try and relax. Thanks. Is there anything I can do for you? Uh... Uh, oh boys, I feel like Kojima's maybe made a bit of a, a bit of an Eros game as they're called, a bit of a H game, you know? Oh sh- oh boys, I just poured my water all over me by accident, oh fuck, right. Take that hoodie off. I don't want to click the lady. Look. Oh, you're not wearing a bra. You look so per- fucking Jonathan. Jonathan, what are you talking about, Jonathan? That's right. You don't need a brand zero gravity, nor do you need to worry about your hips, breasts, or cheeks sagging. Maybe he just covered himself in water, eye. That's what the fucking wet patches are, I swear. Oh. No, Jonathan. Jonathan, why are you doing this, Jonathan? Touch. You know, I don't think I've ever felt a pair in zero gravity before. 
What are you doing? Jonathan, how could you? <laughs> no, it's not me. What the fuck is this game law? <laughs> Hideo Kojima presents Jonathan the Space Groper. Yes, man. Why am I saying yes, man? No, man. Hideo Kojima voice. Um, miss? Yes. My voice just fucking broke there, holy shit, as well. Ask about uh, Beyond. Beyond Coast is mankind's first space colony. It was completed in 2010. Since immigration is open to the general public in 2013, the colony's population has grown to approximately 1 million people. Nearly one third of the current population is comprised of second generation inhabitants. Ask about uh, the SAS. The medical definition of space adaptation syndrome or SAS is the symptoms one experiences uh, during adaptation to zero gravity. It varies from person to person, but over 50% of people develop. The game has it all. Sci-fi, light gun sections, groping, truly the best game. It is a Kojima game after all, because if I remember, Metal Gear Solid has quite a bit of this as well. Symptoms within one to two hours of entering weightlessness. The plane. Oh god, course. Normally we would spend a night in the Earth orbit and space station and travel the rest of the way to an orbital transfer vehicle. But it's a direct flight to beyond which takes about two days. Ask about the plane. There's also a timeline where MGS fails and Kojima mass produces public transport groping games on Steam. <laughs> He's just make, makes like just all these mad uh, fucking hentai games. What a time. I want that but but I want it to be like it's, it gets, still gets the same praise for it, and fucking, uh, and Jeff Keighley still loses his fucking mind. He's like, it's like, and now from the visionary director of Space Groper 6, Hideo Kojima. And then they, they you know, they tongue kiss, because Jeff clearly fancies the fuck it, Kojima. That's all Death Stranding 2 is going to be out here. I I've not played Death Stranding, that's all it could be. OD stands for Ogling Diddies. Oh dear. Anyway, toilets. In accordance with stricter space debris uh, regulations, the plane doesn't eject waste out onto space like before, so you won't get a chance to see any space fireflies like Project Mercury's astronaut, Glenn or Milky Way's like Aurora's Seven's astronaut carpenter. Ask about the plane. Meals. Space food has vastly improved over the years, and it's actually quite tasty now. Following the latest trends on Earth, we even offer Japanese cuisine as well. However, because flavours aren't preserved very well, under low air pressure, we don't bother using any exotic flavourings in our food. Passengers. The fuel tank which contains liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen is considerably big, so there's only enough seating for 30 people including including crew. Body, there we go. I've noticed extremely quiet on board. The walls of the plane are reinforced with... Oh fuck, here we go. Big words. Uh, piezoelectric elements. They cancel out the noise from the plane by bending in the opposite direction of the vibrations outside. That's why it was so quiet when we were leaving the atmosphere, was it? Peace to let Leave me alone, Kieran. I've got dyslexia. Arrival time. How much longer will it be till we arrive? We're not far from beyond now. Uh, ask for medicine. Don't you hear me something from my SAS? I think you'll be alright. We'll be arriving at beyond shortly. Take medicine. Here's a uh, relax effects then. Relax effects. Who makes this? Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Tokugawa, huh? Thanks. Here goes nothing. Oh, boys. Here we fucking go. Space pervert Jonathan is back. Alert. You're free now. How about showing a stranger in beyond? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Oh, it didn't work. Man, what should I do? I can sell it if you work for Tokugawa. How about me and you having dinner under the stars after we land sound? Man, what should I do? Oh, because we don't work for Tokugawa, she's not going to do anything. Oh well. Anyway, show the photo. Have you seen the man in this photo before? I'm sorry, I don't know either of them. Show her Lorraine photo. What do you think of this picture? Wow, she's beautiful. Capsules. you ever seen capsules like these before? Maybe you took something for SAS, remember? Leaf. Any idea what kind of leaf this is? Doesn't look familiar, no. Don't forget that if you're taking plants into beyond, they need to be inspected at the space port. Reporting you to Twitch, please, you <laughs> Recognise this photo? Yes, I've seen it in textbooks. They were beyond 
Beyond's original cops. It was me. Uh, have her stay. Can I say she with anything else? Can you stay a lot longer? Certainly. Oh god. Police, police nons. Look. You're really cute. Your face is a little chill. Kojima! Kojima! What? What the fuck, Kojima? Right. Fucking. Fucking Kojima. In zero gravity, your blood collects in the half of your body. Causing your face to swell a little. It's called Moon Face. Fucking Kojima. Visionary writer. According to, like, the greatest man who's ever lived according to the Game Awards. Right? And shit like that, man. I'm thinking about enjoying my trip. If the girls are as beautiful as you there. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh god, right. How long before we get in trouble and we get barred and chucked off a ship? This would really, really help my SAS. Oh boys, I'm playing, I'm playing, the, I'm playing a dirty game on stream. What am I doing, boys? What are you doing? Fucking space pervert Jonathan's having a time. Excuse me? Yes. Uh, back. Let her go. Can I assist you with anything else? Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Call me again if you're Jesus Christ, space pervert Jonathan. Right. Make his hard as a fucking rock right now. I'm having to move where the controller is so I don't fucking, like, get get it in the way, you know? Kinda hard to judge myself objectively. Jonathan Ingram, at me. I must look like hell right now. Thing is, can you fucking tell who your main character is based off? Because he's clearly fucking Mel Gibson for Lethal Weapon. Mel Gibson, Space Groper. That's, that's it, that's my next fucking... If I ever get into movies, that's my next fucking... That's the working title. Right, uh... Turn on telly. Let's give another look. This game scares me, it scares me as well. Oh, it's Karen Hojo again. Another news. The wor worldwide organ shortage continues to worsen. The numerous hazards of outer space, such as weightlessness, cosmic rays, have fueled the rise in rates of organ abnormalities. This, of course, in turn reduces the number of individuals eligible for donation. International Space Promotion Agency is calling for a transplant developing nations on Earth to join the donor network. This is Karen Hojo reporting for BBC News. Mel Gibson's making the passion too about Jesus going to hell. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ, this gotta be mental. I it's gotta be insane. Absolutely, absolutely insane. What's the, like, what was I thinking of? Uh, oh, Kieran, did you see that Saw 11's been announced for September? They are back to farting these movies out. Yes, man, can't wait. Considering, like, see, I think it was after, was it Saw 1? There was, like, a, a, yeah, it was, like, after Saw 1, they had one a year, which is ridiculous. Yes, I have, we're all going. I hated Saw 10. Saw 10 was fucking shite. Saw 10's probably the worst movie I've seen in cinema this year. I think overall the worst movie I've seen was probably, what's it called, was probably, I've not seen it yet, I'm buzzing, the worst, yet, I think, the worst movie I've seen this year, and I've not seen, the thing is, uh, see the years before, I watched everything, like, see 2020, I watched so much shit because I had nothing else to do, because lockdown shit, but this year I've only watched, kind of like, big movies that are coming out, and some small movies, but, I think Friday Nights at Freddy's is probably the worst movie I've seen this year, I knew going out was bad, but I was kind of, oh fuck, you know. Go to sleep. Uh, you don't want to talk? It'll help your SAS. Wait, fucking, what do you want to talk about, Tony? Doesn't look like he's blinking. Maybe some sleep is what you need. 
Oh, my voice just broke there. Yes, I finally think I've settled down. A weak EF heading happens. Thanks. Oh, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be arriving at Beyond Coast Spaceport. In the arrival area, you'll each be required to undergo a space medical exam before going through immigration and customs. We will now be distributing beverages and salt tablets to help replenish bodily fluids lost during the flight. Thank you once again from all of us here for choosing American Space Lines. Look forward to serving you again in a future flight. <laughs> Cabin crew, prefer, prepare for docking. So I just coughed there. Anyway, Beyond Coast. Let's head. Let's go to Beyond. Firing at altitude thrusters. Moving into Beyond's orbit. I kind of wish I watched Saw 3D with you, Kieran. That would have been a time. Rendezvous and docking laser locked on. This is so fucking loud, Jesus Christ. I've turned it down on the desktop audio, but my headset is blaring. Oh, what a tune. Do, do, do. What was the height of, like, when was the height, I think, didn't you say it was when Hoffman was going about the police station just fucking wiping people out? Oh, what a time. Me and Megan are slowly making our way through every Saw movie. I was screaming. <laughs> oh, it's so fucked, they're so bad. I think the first one is a genuinely good movie. It's not, it's, I think it's brought down by what it came, what came after it, but I think the problem is we saw it, it's the same way a lot of James Wan movies, or like, when they started. They had nothing, they had a tiny budget, they didn't have much to work with, so it worked, you know, it was like, right, you didn't actually see much in Saw 1, because they didn't have the budget to do things like that, but obviously what you imagine is always worse than what you see, you know? But then, suddenly, the rest of the movies have the budget, and it's just, oh, shite, you know? Anyways. Do we save? When arriving on Beyond. Overwrite, there we go. Space Pervert Jonathan has arrived at Beyond. Act 1, Beyond. Oh, what's here? What have we got? Beyond coast. Where the heavens meet the earth. Not a bit not a bit less mysterious than before. There's a Tekken 6 map that looks just like this. My negotiator privileges are pro probably don't apply here. I'm not sure I'll look for Hojo by myself anyway. I should definitely see if I, should, uh, if I can get Ed's help. I bet he'll be happy to do it. Ed should be at the main police station. He'll be in his mid-fifties too. He's been here all these years, so you'll see them pretty well for himself by now. I brought along my police notes photo and one of Lorraine for the heck of it. Might come in handy for something. BCP shouldn't be that far from here. Well, first things first, time to see Ed. Oh, to say my controller's not. There we go. So the wire's pretty loose for this one. Need to be getting a new one soon. System. Wait, what's system? Oh, say I can save. Oh no, no, I didn't mean that. I keep forgetting the X is... Let's get goes up to the second floor. I keep forgetting the X is uh, back and circles forward. Here we go, now saving. 
can never be too careful. It's a jumbo TV screen that's shown news from the BBC. Oh, they're waiting on a flight. Looks like I've only got one carry on bag. There's passengers everywhere. Space within reach of space space is it within reach of the common man now. Wait, move. Oh, I can Hojo's house. Let me check out Hojo's place, but I've got no idea where it is. It's a low gravity escalator. Right, hmm. Move, uh... I don't think your daughter would be very happy if I just showed up there out of the blue anyway. BCP, let's go there. Yes. Next stop, BCP. Oh, Jesus Christ. Beyond Coast Police Department. This must be it. Oh, what a tune. Now I've just got to find Ed. Oh, this music's a fucking tune. Alright lads, how he's doing? These police suits BCP uses? Probably like something you'd take to war. This one looks the same. It says Beyond Coast Police Department. Here we go, here we go. Look, what's the entrance? Go inside. Guess I'll head inside. Hey Ross, how you doing pal? Quite a lobby these guys have. Can I help you? You're here to fire a police report? Alright Hen, how you doing? The call girl, a staple of modern society. You're not from around here? You will get away from here, baby. Real good price, I promise. Talk. They bring you in, did they? Something like that. So what do you say, baby? Sorry, I got business mode to take care of here. What? You want them to? Don't believe this. I must be losing my touch. It's a BCP cop. He looks like a receptionist. Maybe I'll try asking this guy about Ed. How you doing, Ross? How's your day going? How are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? Hi there. Name's Jonathan Ingram. I'm a private eye from home. So it brings you all the way out here. I can't fucking talk, boys. I'm actually an alum in this place, I guess. Is that right? On which side of the bars? I was a cop wise guy. Here's my old partner. It's a class reunion I don't know about. What can I do for you? Feeling a bit worse than yesterday, but I reckon I'll be I'll be up and down for a bit. Aye, COVID's rough the first wee while, but I was taking a big drink there. I was really rough the first couple of days, and then it gets a bit better, you know. But you're still feeling it for like a month or so afterwards. Really, I'm just got a bit of spiffies being proposed, to, being proposed again. Postponed, I can't fucking talk. Fucking hell, why did that word stump me? Shocking, I know it's awful. He's just lazy, he just doesn't want to do them. Ask about security and beyond. So, what's the crime situation like uh, here these days? I don't know, uh, I know you didn't come here to ask me that. Whatever. It's been 30 years, what do you expect? They try and tell you it's a safe place and everything, but in reality, beyond the same as any other major city on home. See her there? Comes with the territory. That's what happens when any large group of people live together. When the city turns dirty, so must the cops. You know, I do have a job here. A job to here. No sympathy, huh? It's been over 20 years since the place got started. Times change. AP does all the real work nowadays. I shat so violently I thought I was gonna die. I am sorry. Well, you, it's all out your system now. You're fine. The other ones that hit the street. Old cops like me get the desk work. With AP. AP stands for Advanced Police. It's the elite unit the Chief created. It employs the latest EMPS as well as Frozeners. I had that last week, it was terrible. Oh, um, 
Sorry about that, Ross. Kieran, I don't get No sympathy for Kieran. EMPS are police suits developed by Tokugawa Heavy Industries and BCP use, uh, for use in and around the colony. EMPS stands for Extra, Ve v Extra Vehicular Mobility Police Suit. If I couldn't sit down afterwards, you just have to lie on your side and have a wee cry. No things at front. Yeah, that's on. Those are the Goddard model. Frozeners. Look at the guys born from fertilised eggs the government got. Normally they'd be sent to the military, but the chief uses them in AP too. Yeah, they use that white artificial blood, right? Yeah, anyway, let's talk about Ed. I'm here to see Ed Brown. You know, former police knot. Ed? Ed Brown? That's who you're here to see? Jesus, you came all the way from home to see him. He's down in the junkyard. The junkyard? Yeah, Vice. BCP's dump. He's in charge there. Ask about Vice. You know about Metal Gear Rising where Raiden pummels Armstrong in the stomach? That's what it felt like after. Oof. He said Vice? If guys like us have the BS work, can you imagine what fun they have? AP handlers uh, handles just about everything they used to do. I don't even know why they still call it Vice. Down the basement. The cave as we call it. The cave? Dark, smelly and weird stuff grows in the walls. That's what Ed does now. Show Police Knot's photo. You know this picture, right? You were a Police Knot too? Damn, I had no idea. Alright, you and Ed make sense now. So yeah, the anti-aging ops or something. Like I told you, AP does all the work here. Police Knot's are a joke now. I'll head back. Let's head to the... Thanks for the help. You might not be thanking me later. Why is that? Oh, I think you'll find out. Hey, maybe you can cheer that loser up. Right, so we're heading down to the basement. A BCP cop looks like a typical police get up. Isn't one of the APs the receptionist was talking about? Who's this guy? Let me guess, undercover. Thought I smelled something. Move. Vice, there we go. Vice is downstairs, right? Hey, give Ed a message for me. Tell him the sooner he retires, the sooner he can stop pretending to do any work. You shut your poor mouth about it. I'm not your secretary. You leave Ed alone. Go do it yourself, you prick. Yes, man. Space pervert Jonathan, get him tilt. Oh, you're off. You missed. Uh, Space pervert Jonathan groping people. So this is the famous Vice unit. Don't everyone get up at once. Right boys, remember I said a character is completely just transplanted from this to Metal Gear Solid? Well, she's quite a tall woman, must be at least six foot. Don't look like the APs the guy in the lobby was talking about. Their complexions are normal. And we'll talk to this person. You got a minute? Is this Vice? What is it to you? Put a sock in it, tough guy. Walk yourself back up the stairs while you're at it. This is Vice, BCP's dump. Interesting outlook. Anyway, so... Just to give you a wee sort of catch up, Ross. Police Knots is set in a world where we sent police into space to on this colony. We got... Something went wrong and we've ended up cryogenically frozen for 25 years. We've came back and as we're a private detective on Earth, our wife comes and says, can you help me find my husband? He's went missing... Or ex-wife... Uh, has appeared says hey can you help me find my husband he's been kidnapped and then as she was leaving she got blown up by a car and a, a guy in a motorcycle helmet done it and ran away who we all, only thing we know about him is he had artificial blood we've came here to try and solve the case and we're chasing up our old partner ed who's sleeping over there and we yeah we found out we can grope a fucking uh we've got flight attendant so yeah space pervert jonathan so what about sid here He's eating a hamburger. I remember me and Ed just to hit the fast food joints all the time. You hungry or something? Forget it, don't even ask. Yeah, can't be APs. Is that Ed? I can't make out his face. Look closer. Yeah, that's Ed alright. Clock talk. Hey Ed! He's out cold. Unbelievable. Ed, wake up. Look closer. Ed, you bum. It's barely even lunch. Oh, a wee nap. I take a nap and work. Can't say it. Like, because I, I get two half hour breaks during my day. So, I, about 11 o'clock, I take a wee half hour 
a half hour break or half hour nap. Interesting ideas, absolutely fucked with nonsense and skeeviness. Aye, that's very Kojima. He's good when he's under control, like see if they're like you're holding him from behind. He's got some good ideas, but as soon as you let him go, he goes, Death Stranding, OD. You're like, oh, nonsense, you know. Anyway, let's wake him up. Yo, Ed, get up, damn it. No one, no way anyone's tired this early. Jonathan? Is this what you've been doing all this time? Jonathan? Jonathan Ingram? Man, I don't believe this. God damn, we've got some catching up to do, son. Hell, now I think you have something to do. What do you say I show you around the new beyond? Uh, no, Ed, I need a favour. A favour? Yeah, I want your help in this thing I'm working on. Lorraine's husband has gone missing. A guy called Kenzo Hojo. He works for Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals. Lorraine asked me to find him. Ed? Sorry, Jonathan, but I can't help you with that. Lorraine was killed, Ed, right in front of me. This thing's got to be huge. The answer's no, Jonathan. What the hell happened to you, Ed? I mean, I think it's Ed, but Austin is a little pussy. Jesus Christ, calm down, will you? We don't have jurisdiction over what happened to Lane. Leave it to the guys on home. Ed? You know what they call this place upstairs, Jonathan? The junkyard where the garbage will like, they like to bury down here. We're nothing. The old Ed doesn't work here anymore. Huh, the Ed I know. Jonathan. Said you knew what is the young Ed. Things are different now. I got a family and a mortgage. The older you get, the more fear gets to you. Afraid of screwing up, you give him more easily. I ain't like Gates, he knows what he's doing. Ed, all, all I have left is here at this desk, in this dirty old basement. I'm lucky Gates even lets me stick around. Okay, Ed. Hey, Chief. I don't mind having given short a hand. Can't let Meryl have all the fun. Count me in. You guys crazy? If upstairs found out, we'd be finished. Finished? What'd you call this, Chief? Ed. I've lost a lot over the years. Now even Lorraine. But I guess I really have lost everything now, huh? Didn't mean to impose. See ya. God damn it. Three more years. Three more years and I'd be done with this place, you son of a bitch. Alright, Jonathan, but we can't conduct an investi um, official investigation or anything. Ah, boy, Ed. And for God's sake, none of your ridiculous stunts. Come on, it's me, don't worry. Hearing that from you worries me the most. Meryl, Dave. You stay out of this, alright? This is personal. She's all yours, Chief. Moral support accepted. Christ almighty. Oh, sorry, Jordan. Let me introduce you to these two. Meet Meryl and Dave. Meryl Silverbur was born and raised on uh, Beyond. You're looking at the last member of high the uh, high-tech special forces unit, Foxhound. She took part in the fall of Zanzibar land. I thought that was a home accident I heard. It's an honour, please not. Dave's a beyond, born and raised in the cylinder. How's it going, Jonathan? It's always great having our terrestrial here. Home's such an incredible place. I've applied to immigrate there, you know? Nice meeting you guys. So, what do you want to do? Why don't I show you around the station first? I know you'd be curious 
I know I'd be curious if I was you. So yeah, Meryl Silver, bro. Literally, just, he, he liked her that much in this game that he just put her in Metal Gear Solid. Mental that they've just went. It's like, same first name, last name, looks the same. Even has the same backstory. Mental. You're really tall. You must get a lot of looks. Not really, I'm only six foot. There's one of the small ones in the military. Pardon me, boys. Yeah, what is it? Ask about her. Well, why don't you tell me about yourself? That's a surprise no one's ever said it to me before. Not in person anyway. Mainly into bikes and combat. I like men, but not in that way. Of course, ever since I came here, half of me's disappeared. You can't ride bikes on Colony, but you can, but only electric ones. Don't let you import gas and uh, don't let you import gas engine models. Bikes nothing about the speed. You won't be much for the combat either, huh? Show. Please not photo. Look so young here, Chief. Ask about her past. So you're in the military and home? Why'd you join? Everyone in my family was in the military. Guess that's why. I think I kind of hoped they would, you know. Vice, what's it like working here? A vice, pretty boring. Catching Johns and prostitutes, undercover stings, basic patrols on the colony, that kind of stuff. What do you mean boring? This is a big area prostitution in the centre of the colony. It's called Kabuki Quarter. Tourists from home like to go there for zero gravity sex. That actually sounds interesting. We arrest them, they get out on bail, it's an endless cycle. I don't like it because I get SAS since I'm a terrestrial. Why is it called Kabuki Quarter? It was a red light district in the late 20th century Japan known as Kabuki Cho. There was an explosion in the number of cases of STBO in Japan back then. Kabuki Cho was hit particularly hard. So our friends packed up and moved things here. The rumours that Tokugawa helped fund the place as a gesture towards empl its employees. Oh, right, uh... Hojo photo. So that's the guy who's gone missing. Must be his wife next to him, right? That's Hojo. Doesn't look like a type who just leave everything and take off. What's this? Who's that next to you? Oh, it's just an old memento. Well, of our past. You especially. You have a cold or something? I hate flowers. I'm allergic to pollen. Cool, that's everything. So, let's ask we Sid here. Look at a mellow guy. Total opposite of most cops I've known. All my life, uh, everyone's told me all I do is smile. I bug my teachers. Dave thinks he looks so cool at this. Dave? Yeah? Why did you become a cop? Well, as you know, I was born here and beyond. I've never been outside the cylinder. I became a cop because I thought I could get a transfer to home. It takes time for beyond beyond to, uh, to obtain immigration visas. Sometimes uh, years. It's not easy either. With all the checks you have to do, you're lucky, Jonathan. But when I was a kid, beyond was a safe place. That's why I decided to become a cop. I figured it wouldn't be a dangerous job. I had no idea. Sorry to hear that. Now the dirt bags start showing up. Our job is to get rid of as many dirt bags as we can. This guy you're looking for? Hey, she's not anchoring the news order, right? I've actually seen that before, but I can't actually quite remember her face. Captures, oh, some kind of old drugs. This thing I'll leave that. Is it from home? Hey, place lots are still cool. Don't care what anyone else says. Is that a maximum hamburger? It became famous after the setup. Uh, they set up a so-called drive-through for astronauts. Used to eat a lot of them back home. This is the Beyond version of the One G meal. It's my favourite food. On Beyond, there are two types of packs. The other one's a Zero G meal. I like the One G meals. Dave wants to try a carbonated drink on home. Things like carbonated drinks and beer don't taste very good in zero gravity, so they're impossible to come by here. Even when you try and get them shipped from home, they spoil along the way. It's quite a knife. It's a Nishino combat knife. Sure protection, I've carried one ever since I was in the military. No one would ever go after you. Ready to take a walk? Sure it's okay? Why not? Better than wandering around by yourself. You're in for a surprise. This place is quite different than the LAPD. So, where to? Let's go to the... Let's start at the lobby. We'll work our way down. This is the lobby. 
Apart from the size, isn't that different from stations on home? A little too ship shape for home. It's the map of beyond. The government can monitor virtually the entire colony in real time. You can run but you can't hide, huh? Exactly. A pipe gets clogged and they know it before you do. Apparently these Romanesque comms, or these are Romanesque comms, pretty nice, huh? Concept they had for this place was supposed to be a fusion of technology and high art, right? Well, let's go to forensics. Oh, who are you? You? Yo, how's it hanging, Doctor? Victor Ed, my name's Victor. When's he ever going to listen? Don't waste your time. It's in one ear, out the other one. Oh, who's this you've got with you? Let me introduce you, Jonathan. This is Dr. Victor Jurgens, head of BCP's Forensic Services Division. How are you doing? Jonathan Ingram. I'm a private eye from OLA. I mean, you're the one and only astronaut Ingram. I was on the edge of my seat when you guys landed on Mars. Mars. Can I fucking talk? Jesus. I get it. Come back to your real home, have you? Great to meet you. What? No, I need, I need to ask. What's that face here? What's this? This is my aid analyzer. You see the monitor. Uh, uh, what you see in the monitor is a visual representation of the aid's AI. Call him Gorby. He responds to my voice. Hey Gorby. I wouldn't bother. He's an AI to a point. He can tell you what uh, he can tell you what's in the dirt in your shoes, but he can't talk. Just blips and bleeps. Victor, what is it? Ask about him. Are you a terrestrial? Half beat your age, wouldn't you? I was born in Moscow, back when socialists ran the country. The picture back then was taken around the time I was born. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, I went to America to study forensic medicine, and later became a medical examiner. I've done autopsies on over three, uh, 30,000 bodies throughout my career. In my 40s I became interested in studying bodies in space and came here. You see the bodies you get here in zero gravity. The, de de the decomposition stages are freaky stuff. Just this means? I'm actually looking for a missing person. Supposedly he's already dead. Would it be possible to transport his body outside the colony? You can never take a body outside uh, beyond single-handed. We've got a pretty tight security system in place. Be easy to transport them out while they're still alive and kill them somewhere else. It becomes stricter and stricter about space debris every year. I'll show him the Hojo photo. Look well, these guys, they look Japanese. This is Kenzo Hojo, the man who's disappeared. This guy you're looking for? Show him a police notes photo. I still remember that famous picture. Where's this? It's in Russia, the old Soviet Union you could say, that's where I'm from. It's been about 50 years since the last time I was there. Some amazing equipment you've got. Amazing, you think so? Well, amazing in the sense that there are ancient analog devices. I've had uh, these a long time. Still use them with my research. To be honest, I use my aid for most of my work. So they're more of a collection. You could say that. I've got a lot of memories of these. How's life, Gorby? He's processing some right now, actually. These are visual sensors. His eyes, so to speak. I say eyes. But just for moving around, doesn't use them for analysis. Is Victor's forensic robot the aid? Can I press buttons with Gorby or not? How you doing there, Gorby? He's processing some. Doctor, what is it? I think we've checked everything. Look, there's blood in your clothes. I should think so. I've had this gown since my first autopsy. Boggin, absolutely fucking boggin, absolutely fucking disgusting. Anyway, guys, I'm not read some. I'm usually gonna let Kojima make the movie. Clearly, wants to make I. It'll be seven hours long and terrible, and then maybe folk will stop calling him a genius. I couldn't. Clearly, just wants to make a movie. So, like, I hated that at the Game Awards. He's like, it's a game, but it's more than a game. It's a cinematic experience. Just make a fucking movie, right? It sounds like it. it I hate the pretentious side of it. He was giving it the whole like, oh, it's mu it's a much more than a game. Od, I'm like, mate, Heavy Rain came out like. 15 years ago and that was the, like Fahrenheit like fucking you will go even further back 
I'm sure there's PC adventure games that were saying, oh, it's like Phantasmagoria. It was like, oh, it's a cinematic sort of game. It's not a new idea, you know? But anyway. It's seen blood of every single body I've looked at over the years. I guess you could say I'm part of their souls too. Bogging. Just fucking change your gown. What's in the bookshelves? Them. Old books and anatomy and pathology. I brought them here with me from home. Still use them? Of course not. I get all my information online. Nobody uses antique media like those anymore. So like mementos? I suppose so. I could never bring myself to throw them away. Bet you know the feeling, don't you? Let's go have a look in the AP room. Hey, maybe you could take a look at these things for me. Let's see them. Here you go. Capsules and a leaf. Can you do it? Could never turn down a request from one of the police knots, could I? Don't tell anyone about them. Okay, doctor. Give me a little time. Shouldn't take too long. Thanks, Victor. No problem. I'll get started right away. Come back in a bit and we'll talk about the results. Later, Doc. Oh, where's this? This is the AP room. The backbone of this place. These guys are state-of-the-art as it gets. CWA is the commander of the AP and chief of the BCP. Gates Becker. Gates is pretty amazing, isn't it? It's been 30 years. He's changed too. Let's go say hi. Is that big Tony Redwood there? This, how you doing, mate? He looks like such a Gundam villain, holy shit. Jonathan Ingram? You're on Beyond? They tell me you're the big boss around here now. Well done, I'm really happy for you. Oh please, you're only as good as those around you. Jonathan, I just want to say I'm sorry about what happened. Who knows? Might have you been sitting here otherwise, huh? And did I not talk about it, Gates? Well, I must say it's nice having more of the old crew around. On holiday, are you? Actually, that's not why I'm here. So, why are you here? Here's the deal. Jonathan, I'm looking for someone. Name's Kenzo Hojo. He works for Tokugawa Pharmaceuticals here. Tokugawa? He disappeared here three weeks ago. And his wife was murdered on home after coming to me to ask for help. What the hell? Chief, I was thinking... Jonathan, if Tokyo was involved, I'm afraid that changes everything. I'm sorry, but we can't conduct an official inquiry. Though, feel free to work with Ed on it. If you uncover something, we'll step in and take over from there. Ed? I trust you'll give Jonathan your full cooperation. Just make it quiet. Yes, Chief. I owe you one, Gates. You're more than welcome here, provided you behave yourself. I always behave myself. Definitely don't grope them in the space. Alright. You don't even know I'm here. Really great seeing you again, Jonathan. Nope, 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 we're staying here. Talk. Hey Gates, what is it? Ask about the ex police knots. What happened to ours? Tokugawa resigned from BCP 20 years ago and head up with, to head up the Tokugawa group. Savdor quit, I suppose, 10 years ago or so. Age and apparently went back home. Oh no, 10 years ago. So I read ago as age. I realised as I said that didn't make any sense. Anyway, BCP. Police knots eventually evolved into the proper police force we have today. AP do most of the work here now. They're a mobile police unit. AP were created to be a new breed of space police designed around the special set of conditions you have on a colony. AP members. We recruit AP members from government frozers, uh, frozeners. It's dangerous work having a family or friends is only a burden. It's one of the lessons of your accident. On top of that, they only use sperm carrying genes well suited to space environment when they fertilize frozener, frozener eggs. In other words, they select fathers from past astronauts. I mean, we could be responsible for some of these guys. Possibility is there. You could say Frozeners are literally sons of astronauts. Seems barbaric in a way. 
Lorraine's murder. Police on home have been in touch with us as it has involved the murder of a beyonder. What a senseless crime. Who had thought something happened like that would happen to the ex-wife? What's OLA saying? They've concluded that she was a victim of a bomb planted by Rep Reparatus Reper Repatriatus or possibly eco terrorists, but there's not much evidence to go on. Repatriatists? Yes, repatriatists. It's been thirty years since we colonized space. The pollution of space environment has become quite pronounced. That's why movement was born. They uh, say we should just stop by all this and return home. Show Hojo's photo. That's the guy who's gone missing. Seems like uh, very like all the other people you find at Tokugawa. Then for Halloween to be killed as well. Can we not go talk to Big Tony? I can see Tony. Uh, move. Anyways, I'm going to do a wee save. We're still we're still getting shown round uh, the the station, but we'll have to do that next time because your dad needs to go do some Christmas shopping. Let me do that one more time just to make just to make good. But I, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Absolutely loving it. We'll be back with Police Knots on. So tomorrow will be X Men Legends. It will be on Saturday. So I'm not sure when I'll, what time I'll be on Saturday, but I'm sure you can catch up with on my Discord or Twitter or shit like that, you know. But aye. For now, boysies, let's transfer over to this screen and get the desktop closed down. There we go. So aye, boysies, thank you so much for joining us. As usual, I have been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream, but until then, boysies, have a good day. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Most importantly, boysies, have good mental health. I've got to shoot off, but aye. Cheers for joining us. Uh, let's have a look at the activity feed. Cheers for the raid, Jonathan. Cheers for the raid pro... Uh, the raid, sorry. Cheers for the subscription pro. Oh, thank you, Monica. It means a lot. But aye. Thank you so much, boysies. See yous. Up the fucking space group for Jonathan. Catch you.